Constantinople. It was a moment that lasted only a few seconds, but it was charged with symbolism. When the leader of more than 225 million Orthodox Christians blessed Pope Francis, it meant much more than just a moving gesture. I think it's not just a symbolical gesture, I think it's a profound gesture of uh, humility, um, of recognition that matters like authority and power are not uh, seen as in the secular world, um, and a profound statement of uh, equality between the Pope and the Patriarch. And the Patriarch's reciprocation um, in Jerusalem was an embrace. Here, maybe he was expecting the Pope to do something again spontaneous, and he needed to respond in a way that showed that there was not one person over another. In the year 1054, the cultural differences between the East and the West led to the division between Orthodox Christians and Catholics. The relationship between both churches was basically non-existent for 900 years, but one visit changed everything. In 1964, Pope Paul VI met with the Patriarch in the Holy Land, opening a new chapter between Catholics and Orthodox. And other visits followed. John Paul II took it a step further in his encyclical titled Ut Unum Sint. In it, he proposes a form of papal primacy that the Orthodox Church could accept. Benedict XVI also supported this proposal and held meetings with his counterpart. During his papacy, the relationship was stable, so much so that the Patriarch attended the initiation mass of Pope Francis. But this time around, it was Pope Francis who traveled to visit the Patriarch at his home. More than anything, the visit was marked by the Pope's words and intentions. We could say not much happened here in Istanbul. And in another way, we could say it was an earth-shattering change. That's why this visit of the Pope is important. Because although it's just a visit to a church and an embrace with another bishop, it's a reminder and a commitment to stay together, to stay in dialogue, to stay in communication until we can be one. It's not just doctrine that divides Orthodox and Catholics. Prejudice and misunderstandings are also part of the equation. Now only time will tell if full unity will be reached. If so, this visit will surely be marked as an important moment in that process.